What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the latest edition of Gin and Tonic. I'm your host, as always, John J. the Second, and we got a brand new episode of Gin and Tonic for you today, a Thursday, May 13th, 2021. So we're two days away from the Corona Cup 3.0. Very excited, very highly anticipated event. The odds were just released today, so we'll talk about that a little bit later in the show. Um, but the topic at hand is about Aaron Rodgers. So let's talk about Aaron Rodgers a little bit. Talk about the scenario that the Green Bay Packers have found themselves in. Kind of an interesting scenario. So his contract, let's talk about his contract for a quick second. His contract is has been extended uh, from 2018 until 2023. So if you're not a rocket scientist or if you are, um, you can kind of tell and using a little bit of mental math and thinking about it briefly, you can basically tell yourself it's 2021, not 2023. So his contract's not up. But Aaron Rodgers wants out of Green Bay. So there's been some ideas that have circulated. He wants to basically get traded out of Green Bay. He's not happy with something. He's not really completely coming clean with everybody in the press, kind of telling him, telling them what's what he's really not content with. But basically he wants out. He uh, was disgruntled with how the season ended in 2021, uh, early 2021, going into the uh, Super Bowl, into the rest of the playoffs. Uh, and you know, he just, he, he really wants out of green Bay. He wants a fresh start. Now, if you look at this, this year's draft, you look at this year's season, see where certain players have found themselves the big, big time quarterback, heavy draft class, and also a trading class, uh, up to until the trade deadline approach us in March. So kind of looking at some, some scenario type stuff, there's a big picture being painted for the NFL's quarterbacks this year. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that plays out. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers has showed that he wants to be a part of that mix. He wants to be involved with the uh, with the trade process. He wants to find himself a new home. Now, obviously, it's getting a little bit late in the game. He's kind of scrambling a little bit, uh, and he's threatened higher-ups at the Green Bay Packers franchise that he would rather sit out than to play for the Packers this season. So his contract's not up until 2023. He's still got a couple years left in that. Uh, people have talked through the grapevine saying that Aaron Rodgers will not end his career in Green Bay. Um, however that may play out, I guess we'll see what happens going into the season. Um, but they've been practicing together. They've been going through the motions. And we'll see how Aaron Rodgers really meshes with that entire plan. But obviously the Packers are planning on him playing for the Packers this year. So Matt LaFleur... The coach of the Green Bay Packers has basically said he's not really happy with how Aaron Rodgers is acting right now. It's kind of putting him on pins and needles, forcing him to count on Jordan Love, their backup quarterback, uh, and really they want to be able to utilize him if they have to. They want to have a plan B in place just in case Aaron Rodgers goes rogue and says, listen guys, I'm not going to play. I'm just going to sit out. I'd rather sit out the duration of my contract instead of play for this franchise, which he's obviously not happy with for whatever reason. Now, some teams have flirted with the idea of trading him, one being the Cleveland Browns. Um, Actually, this was proposed by the Packers, so it's not really a Browns decision. But basically, the Browns have said they're dialed in 100% on Baker Mayfield, and they have zero interest in Aaron Rodgers. So that's a big statement there. Uh, And obviously, to paint a new picture, this would be a lot different of a process if Aaron Rodgers was a free agent. He is not a free agent, however, so that makes the entire process a hell of a lot more complicated. So let's just see what happens. That's what we do really good over here at Gen Pros. We just see what happens, see how things play out, uh, and whatever's meant to be will be. So take that to the bank, and that's what's going to happen. Let's move on. Let's switch gears a little bit. Let's talk about the Corona Cup 3.0. So obviously, if you've seen the Flyers, if you don't live under a rock, And if you have any social media of any kind, you would know that the Corona Cup 3.0 is happening this weekend. This Saturday, May 15th, we're teeing off again at Ironwood to fight it out for the Cup. Now, a little bit of a league change, a little bit of a personnel change, if you will, uh, as far as Sammy Binks' team. Um, He is now playing with Mikey Santos. So it's going to be Santos and Sam against Pfeiffer and me. Uh, battling it out for the cup. The cup is on the line again. So this is not the second time. This is not the first time. This is the third time that the Corona Cup, the official cup, 
is being treated essentially as a Stanley Cup where it will be passed on to the most recent victor of that cup, of that tournament, no matter where it is. So we're taking it back to the stomping grounds at Ironwood Links in Mason, Michigan. Very excited. Actually, Pfeiffer and I had a really great range round today, and it was really uh, an eye-opening experience. Pfeiffer really dialed in his irons, his driver's on point. I had to shake the rust a little bit on my driver, uh, but my irons are looking pretty good. I'm making solid contact. I've really shaken the rust from the winter season uh, until now, so I'm really excited. I'm really anticipating honing in our skills and taking that cup back yet again. So we'll look forward to that, and hopefully we end up victorious, and we'll be in touch throughout the day on Saturday uh, and into the night after the post-game presser. That happens on Saturday night. Also look out tomorrow night. There'll be a pre-round presser with all four competitors So look forward to that. Really exciting stuff. Uh, And we'll talk to you guys then. Thank you guys for tuning in to this edition of Gin and Tonic. I'm your host as always, John J. II. Have a great night.